Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of your love life. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading link, uh, other readings, timeless readings, everything you need, just peruse the description box below. And let's get started with your reading. Um, you have the Phoenix, a new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, change of mind, passion, and seeing chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun, and soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Wow. So, you know, Virgo, like I said the other day, we are in the uh, uh, Mercury retrograde until the end of August. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Everybody's doing that whole rethink, reassess, refiguring things out, uh, taking inventory, retreating, resting, that kind of stuff, which is going to bring about a new phase, rekindling. There's a renewal happening, transformation, growth, change, one. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups with the world. Okay, so there's a King of Cups who is starting a new chapter, walking away from a heartbreak. Uh, or from some kind of an argument here, leaving things behind, um, no communication during this time on the internet, if there's any kind of internet communication. So yeah, there's that. So let's see what else is going on here. Okay. There is somebody's pulling away at this time, trying to figure some stuff out. Okay. Trying to have a new chapter in life. All right. So yeah, this could be you, it could be another person. But I do feel like this is like a downtime, okay? Um, somebody's trying to figure out, like, is, this, is Virgo my person? Is this my soulmate? You know, are we in agreement? Is this a soul contract? There is definitely insane chemistry between you and another person here. Um, definitely like each other equally um, or will be. But there is somebody's changing their mind here, perhaps about walking away um, or about starting over okay let's take a look here let's see what other messages virgo you have for the month of august okay yeah so there's a wake-up call happening here in august for someone there is an energy of reconciliation getting clarity coming to truth the phoenix is rising there's a new phase that's coming about um in august and um going in like at the end of august for sure i feel like there's this fi somebody figures out what they want okay so judgment is like this is truth that point blank period okay there might have been somebody who made an error in judgment or made a mistake somebody made a mistake uh judged something incorrectly someone was fearing changes feeling weak someone was in denial but all of that is shifting with the world there's this clarity that comes there's a wake-up call and there's um a sense of realignment and reconciling okay three of pentacles so there's definitely something here about needing to be a team the three of pentacles can be a card about marriage or commitment or partnership working together learning so i feel like yeah there is a shift and a change somebody's reassessing truths are coming out things are this is revelation with judgment things are being revealed in regards to a partnership somebody's realizing that you are their soulmate they're extremely passionate about you um you guys have insane chemistry okay so yeah whatever your situation there is someone here who's like you know what we really did work good together we really there was quality to this relationship apart from you know anything else is definitely a soulmate connection oh yeah divine timing is bringing all this in Dude, this is like spirit with temperance this is like balance harmony there's patience self-control moderation okay so there's a there's a sense of wow got the emperor here <sighs> somebody's showing up virgo so it could be with the emperor we have aries temperance is sagittarius judgment is scorpio there is someone here who i feel like is going to take the lead in after something shifts here through this mercury retrograde taking the lead okay in a relationship but this is something that 
is going to take time, right? So I'm feeling like a lot of the, the, like I said, you might have something show up on August 19th or the 20th. Something kind of comes to be revealed. Could be the 20th because um, Judgment is the 20 card. So August 20th, there's like this, oh, somebody comes to terms with something and the, the majority of that is they don't want to let you go right that this person there might have been a blocking here that's happening you might have blocked them they might have blocked you or there was something along those lines this person releases the block um they stop I, there's some kind of energy here about you know possessiveness like someone is really like holding on tight holding on tight to either the idea, the passion, the soulmate, somebody's really, whoever your person is, or this person is to you, really coming to this place of, um, I just want to say like opening things up here, there's definitely going to be a rekindling, someone has a changed mind, and renewing of this relationship, but now, during August, I feel like there is someone here, your person, could be a Cancer or a Pisces, could also be another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but your person is like really, they're contemplating right now. Um, the moon, for me, in my readings, does represent voluntary changes, trusting the intuition. Um, I feel like somebody's looking at some pro some problems or some issues that they couldn't see before, but now they're actually taking a look at them. All right, now this could be reverse. This could be you as well, or two people going through this. You know, the retrograde is always a time where we stop, we take inventory, we kind of settle down, we don't run away or run after. We just kind of sit with things. And we're like, all right, let me just look at this and see like what what happened what could be fixed what can't be fixed what needs to change all of that energy happens with the, re the retrograde and there's also problems with communication or internet communication or phones or computers so i feel like there's going to be throughout august up possibly up till the 20th there is this time period of quietness of hush i'm hearing hush 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 keep it down now voices carry why is that song coming to me i don't know where I don't know. I mean, if you know what that song's about, um, I don't feel like that's what this reading is, but there is this energy of like, hmm, let me see. Do I want to, what do I need to do? Do I need to add more? Do I need to take away? There's a lot of reconfiguration. They're giving me the word reconfiguration during this retrograde. So I feel like sometime around the 20th, somebody has this boom. Yes. 11, 11. Yes we're to be together there's a homecoming there's a reunion your soulmate is taking a you know they're they're i feel like they're coming back to realize or they're making their their way and here <laughs> that running away and running away from whatever they were running from and now running back towards you okay this is not a how can i say this is for those of you who um you and your person it seems like uh, you're you're kind of new, kind of a new kind of relationship. Um, or if it's not new, it's just an energy of like needed some time apart, a long time. So you and your person may have been separated for a very long time, um, and I'm talking like a year. It could be longer. Where there's this, a lot of time to kind of think about things or settle into things this retrograde is really going to be powerful this retrograde actually um i want to see something mercury retrograde <clears throat> 2024 august yeah so it will go direct on august 28th but I do feel like it'll be leading up some something to do with August 20th. It just keeps showing up for me. Um, and they're also saying, okay, so this Mercury retrograde is in Virgo and Leo. Okay, it's it's gone. So it's going to it's moving backward in the sign of Virgo. And then on the 13th, return to Leo. And Leo is all about assertiveness. Okay, and that's when that energy is going to play out from the 30, from the 13th 
on. Um, so the way it's going to impact you will have something to do with your confidence and your intuition. Now, if your person is an Aries, it's going to have a lot to do with time management and inspiration. If your person's a Taurus, it has to do with romantic endeavors and family dynamics. These are the, these are the things that are going to be really um, affecting the area in their lives. If it's a Gemini, it has to do with um, commun their communi communication skills. Um, if it's a Cancer, it has to do with, with how they are as a friend, a supportive friend. If it's a Leo, it, it, it's impacting their personal life. They might be having an identity crisis. Um, if it's a Le if you're dealing with a Libra, um, it has to do with they're like struggling with their emotional well-being and something to do with how they are on social media. They might be going off. Uh, with Scorpio, it has to do with their their work, their career. Um, they might be struggling with work or issues with networking. With Sagittarius, it's their image. They're struggling with their image. And that's going to need to be looked at. <clears throat> and their beliefs. With Capricorn, it has a lot to do with their emotional connections. And their, the, the way they travel, the way they move. Okay? And Aquarius, it has to do with relationship dynamics and psychological breakthroughs. Pisces is all about their work, life balance, and daily routines. Okay? So what I feel like is happening here is whatever sign you're dealing with, those are the areas that's going to, going to affect them. That has a lot to do with you. And with you, as I said, this has to do with your confidence and your intuition. Have you been trusting your intuition? Are you feeling confident? You might be taking a look at these, these areas and just kind of be like, you know, I haven't been trusting my gut. I haven't been confident in regards to another person or what I want for myself in life. So that's the retrograde. It's all like, hey, I need to work on a few things here. Now, this person, they're in a lot of grief currently, okay? And I see them, there's some kind of loss here. There's some kind of regret that your person is dealing with here. There's a feeling um, of abandonment or feeling unloved, okay? Um, and feeling that terrible uh, sense of loss, okay? Now, there is a Queen of Wands, masculine or feminine energy, who's showing up in their life. Now, this Queen of Wands, it's fire sign. This person is very significant to them. Uh, this Queen of Wands gives them some kind of truth, tells them something, okay? Um, this Queen of Wands is the catalyst for this change. So, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like... You know, I did see you, oops, I did see you sitting here and uh, I feel like there's there's something here, This if this person has shut you off or cut you out, um, they're looking to see if you notice that, okay, they're wondering if you, if you paid attention to that, I don't know what that means, but it, or if you know that they did. Okay. So, yeah, this Queen of Wands is going to be the catalyst to some kind of change to your person's life as far as giving them some truth about their obstacles or whatever their obstacles are that they're dealing with, okay, um, or their conflicts and giving them some mental clarity and some new ideas <clears throat> in regards to their grief, right? The Queen of Wands is always someone who's very supportive in um, a fiery, she brings reassurance and confidence to people, Okay, that's what she's all about. She's very empowering. She gives off, she's honest, but she gives off this sense of like, you know, um, you're a leader. You're, 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 you're a powerful person. They, they have a charm and a courageousness about them. And it's almost, um, they have an affect about them that rubs off on people. Okay. So, hmm, there's some breadcrumbing issues. Something to do with um, somebody spreading themselves too thin. I always feel like this Six of Pentacles is somebody who is, mm, they breadcrumb. They don't, they, they might have like a fear of getting involved or they have a fear of giving all of themselves. They try to keep everybody happy. So I feel like this is someone who, they, they do very little. They don't give all of themselves to one person. They give a little of themselves to everybody. Okay. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but um I feel like this person is a bit greedy. They keep, because if you look here, this this person in this card is pretty wealthy. Look at the way they're dressed. 
and everybody else is kind of below them, you know, so they give a little bit of themselves or they keep the rest for the, a little bit of themselves to others, but they keep the rest for themselves. This person comes off to me as being, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I don't know how to say this. It's like, I'm going to give you some, but I'm not going to give you all of me, you know? Yeah, there's a, there's a, um, there's self-sabotaging restrictive nature with this person. They have like some kind of, um, I feel like mental struggle here for sure. They, they, they restrict themselves. They isolate themselves. They're in some kind of mental prison. Uh, maybe even like, I like to say like the damsel in the stress laying on the train tracks. Help me, help me. A little bit of that going on. Okay. Um, uh, there's, there's an energy here of, um, this person's self-worth. They don't really feel, I don't I feel like this person naturally just has uh, doesn't feel worthy or doesn't feel lovable or just believes that everyone's going to abandon them. There's a, there's a lot of psychological sh sh shit <laughs> happening here during this retrograde for your person, which, you know, that's fine. Okay. There's an element here of trying to seek stability and even financial stability. Okay. To, I want to say, get themselves in a position where they, um, there might be a struggle or something going on with inheritance or money or a retirement as well. But there's something here about this is having safety and trust, right? And so here's the question, right? How do how do how does I make my how do I make my person feel safe? How do I make my person trust me? You have to be a safe person, and you have to be a trustworthy person. That's how others feel safe, right? It's not what you got to do. It's just how you must be. Right? So even for Virgo, if you want to be safe in a relationship, if you want to have that safety, you must be a safe person. And if that other person still does not feel safe and you're being safe, if you're not being safe, obviously there's going to be a problem. But if you are being safe and you are being transparent and you are showing that you can be trusted, if they're not responding to that, well, that's you, you can't go any more than just you got to just be authentic and be yourself and that's it. Don't go out there digging holes for people. You know, because they're going to bury themselves, okay? So there is definitely a strong, um, passionate connection between you and this person. And I feel like they know it and they're they're feeling it. And going through August, they're feeling that, that chemistry and how you guys had fun together or how you, you, you they want to have fun. The chemistry is insane between you and this person, okay? And they're definitely, they're getting into hermit mode here during this. And I know a lot of you are too, but they're getting also here, since this is about the other person, they're doing a lot of self-reflection and understanding. Queen of Swords, something to do with what you said, right? Ringing true for them. And I mean, are they agreeing with it? I don't know. Uh, they're definitely self-reflecting. They're definitely taking a look at things here. Yeah, it was some truth, okay? And I feel like it was fair whatever the content was that you gave now the queen of swords is not often known for her delivery <laughs> queen of swords you know in the reverse which she's not necessarily a reverse but um if there was some kind of an argument because we had we saw the three of swords in the beginning um she can be angry and cold and aggressive okay um and perhaps that has because the Queen of Swords can be Virgo. That may have something to do with why there was a breakup or an argument or a separation. However, the content is valid. Okay, whatever was said, whatever was delivered, the, the conversation or the communication that had, it was truthful. Okay, it was truthful and it was true, right? Because the Queen of Swords, she does not deliver untruth at all she's very honest masculine or feminine okay you showing up in that way and the justice card as well this is all about the truth coming out so perhaps the delivery was off or for some of you it wasn't anything to do with how it was said it was just the truth that you may have said something to this person anyway they're reflecting on this okay so the high priestess is here with the page of swords hmm this person is quietly watching you or will be in August. Quietly, secretly spying. Okay. Yeah, they feel kind of left out in the cold. 
they might have sabotaged a connection, put themselves out there, or uh, their, a relationship was sabotaged. Um, they're struggling. They're struggling. Or they might be watching you secretly, or they're looking for you in August, or they're um, you might be kind of maybe a bit quiet yourself, and they're looking to see what's going on. Um, it seems like the more you're absent, the more they're struggling. So if you and your person have not physically seen each other after some kind of argument or a breakup, you're in the retrograde right now, Virgo, maybe you, you're not calling them or you are not, or you guys aren't talking to each other or you're not seeing each other or you're avoiding each other in like your workplace or at the school or, you know, at the coffee shop or maybe you bump into each other or you see your person at the grocery store and the other someone dips you know there's this energy of like seeing each other but then kind of pulling away or backing away there's no communication in august until the end of the month let's take a look and see why are my why is my whole all rest of my deck over here Oh, there we go. Oh, because that, that's right. I'm sorry. I put those cards there. So let's take a look and see what the energy is going to be after there's this reach out around the 20th. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a blessing. There's a healing. There's a new start happening here between you and your person. There's a new beginning. Definitely. Potential. It's potential. Um, don't jump into anything don't don't overdo it um don't overdo it because the the ace is the potential it doesn't mean it's like oh this person's coming in and yeah it is a card of marriage proposal all that relationship um but it's a potential for those things so it's not a somebody's coming in and just you know hey Let's do this. No, it's 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 more like there's a there's a, a healing energy. There's a gift of love coming in. There's an there's a new beginning happening here that's very healing, and it's still healing. So what does that mean? It's like if you like get a finger get a paper cut, right? After the paper cut, all of a sudden the wound begins healing. Right after the it on it's the body just starts healing right away. So you're not on day three with the Ace of Cups in terms of healing. You're like five minutes after. It's it's still a fresh wound. It's still um, it's 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 in the process. Okay, so you don't want to, uh, you know, when the love comes back in, kind of be like, are you ready to settle this now and let's get married or let's be in this? No, 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 no. It's it's because then that that's just going to reopen all that wound again. No, no, no. You're just gentle keep it bandaged keep it covered don't expose it to your elements virgo just keep it very it's still flushing out it's still flushing out okay it's that early it's that soon all right so there is a new start definitely a new beginning happening here with this person now for some of you i just want to give a caveat this does not necessarily have to be romantic this could be with a family member or a friend okay something happened something happened and there was some kind of a break and two people now going through this retrograde period are rethinking things and yeah is it going to be you guys are going to get re reestablish the relationship there's a potential here for that but it really depends on how two people deal with the prior things there's got to be communication there has to be a talk about the stress and the anxiety or the things that happened in the relationship not to rehash and then hold each other um you know on a hold hold a gun to each other's head but just be like you know to talk about the anxiety to talk about the stress to talk about the grief talk about the 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 any depression that that evolved from that because we want to heal that and there has to be that open com uh, communication right and it's going to take time Okay, so you got to give it time to just kind of, because it's got to heal. That three of swords that you saw earlier, that's like surgery. That's like somebody stuck a knife in there. You know, that paper cut. That's like something happened. It could be a paper cut or it could be like a really big wound. It's still healing, but while it's healing, there's also this 
I love my person. I don't want to lose my person, but I don't want to jump back in again because my wound is still fresh, right? So I feel like that message uh, for you and for this person is to take it slow, okay? To take it, just take it slow. Now, listen, if you, and I always say this, and if you're new to my channel, then you won't know, but I always say, you have free will. If you don't want this relationship back, Virgo, if you're like, nah, I, I wish him well, but I'm, I don't, I, I don't, it's just, no, I don't want it back. You absolutely can do that. It doesn't mean the reading's going to change. Um, it does Because all I'm telling you is, yes, there's going to be a reconciliation. Absolutely. Um, but at the end of the day, when we click off this reading, <laughs> and when that happens, again you do whatever you want to do with that if you want to accept someone back you accept it you know if you it's a gift that's coming in if you want to accept this gift you accept it if you don't want to accept the gift then you let the other person down okay um or you explain to them that um you you don't want to disappoint them but it's just not going to happen you just don't want that anymore it's up to you okay let's see what your messages of love Past life love. Okay, this is a past a past life love. Romantic or platonic. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, Virgo. So I feel like whatever you and this person, it could be your best friend, uh, sibling, uh, it could be you and your kids or your child or your kid, it could be family member, lover, whomever, colleague, whatever. Um there's a spiritual lesson here that two people need to learn. And this this retrograde is going to bring a lot of stuff to the forefront. And for some of you, you know, uh, and I'm not going to say all of you, but there might there's a percentage of you where this person might just accept that you are their past life love and keeping you in the past. Or you might do that. And maybe you guys will just be friends. Or maybe not. Maybe you'll just, both two people will have mastered the situation and move on. Right? So pay attention to any red flags that show up for you, okay? Red flags within this person, red flags within yourself. Well, oh, that almost popped out. Okay, anything else? All right, forgiving yourself, forgiving another person will help you both move forward. Financial challenges could be affecting this connection moving forward. And you also have play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So that doesn't mean play. It could mean play hard with this person. Like just keep it light, keep it simple, right? Whatever you want to do. Or just with other people in your life, you know, just be happy. Find your happy place, Virgo. <laughs> it's like Sesame Street, find your happy place. All right, what else does Virgo need to know? All right, you have let go. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now, Virgo. Okay. Oh, there you go. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Yep. So there's def this, this retrograde is definitely a cycle. Here we have narcissist again. Some of you might be trying to figure out um, if you're dealing with a narcissist or not. Uh, like I said yesterday, um... I don't, well, here they're saying no. Um, but like I said yesterday, it doesn't matter if they're a narcissist or not, in the sense that if somebody, if you and another person are not able to reconcile your differences and fix the relationship, you both have to be fixing it together. And it has to be actual work, like doing the work. There has to be like showing and there has to be consistent effort right but if you feel like this person is not capable of doing that it doesn't make them a narcissist but it does mean that you if you're not happy like if this if somebody is not bringing any extra benefit to your already happy place <laughs> then that's a relationship you may need to think about reach you know moving away from okay um but I don't feel like, like right now as I'm doing this reading, it's the, the right time to determine that. I feel like let this retrograde play out for two people here. Let things, let the dust settle. Remember I said that yesterday. Okay. And you have, okay, so you might be, yep, there's a breakup. There's 100%. There's a breakup. 
and it's pretty heavy duty two people are there's like a break look there's no connection and communication here and that's fine let that be because that's a reprieve for two people right sometimes it's blocking is a blessing not talking is a blessing sometimes that needs to happen uh, if there was an argument or fighting um got to move away and go into the other room so it doesn't get out of hand just leave things be okay and that gives um two people room to breathe and recollect thoughts and figure out what's going see get excuse me give it time everything in divine timing just let it go let it flow anything else here yes luck is on your side so that's your message there just to let things be just let things be let it let things flow no rush no need uh two people are meant to be together they're going to reconnect with each other um if this person never reconnects with you be prepared for that as well um If they move on with someone else, accept it. Leave it be. Plenty of fish in the sea, sweetheart. Plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, some messages here for you. All right, you've got the Knight of Swords. So, decisive, focused, driven, and defensive. There are events that will be moving with great speed. You need to choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. There are some sudden or unexpected changes happening in August review your options carefully and you also have the six of swords there's an coming to the end of challenging times the challenging times are now through august 28th obviously okay but things are going to be looking up you have a welcome relief and i feel like for a lot of you where there is after some kind of breakup there's, there's going to be this reprieve and a sense of relief i know not everybody is, is like what that doesn't make sense no believe me <clears throat> and you give yourself time to be alone and not have the stress there you, there is a sense of relief okay um and because you find your way or you'll have to try to find your way to a peaceful place the end of depression or an illness and there's travel or relocation happening as well during this time okay during this retrograde all right okay there might be something here to do with homosexual relationships also two of wands is taking the next steps bold and ambitious choices partnering up with other people during this month who share your dreams expanding your plans and continuing to move forward that's the goal continue to move forward oh seven of swords okay be careful of a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom take caution be aware of others actions there may be a material loss make sure you are being honest with yourself an embarrassing secret might come out i don't feel like somebody's going to embarrass you um, there might just be a secret not coming out but there there might be this feeling of wanting to run away from an embarrassing secret now somebody's got one and um this could be like you if you have one or your person has one then running away from facing that all right um you know how we just kind of push certain things out of our our head right that that is that running away from that energy that i feel like is going to come up for somebody here during this stretch grade somebody um you might find out a secret about somebody or they might find a secret out about you it might embarrass you um and if you gotta run you gotta run you know what i mean you need to do what you need to do um but make sure you're being honest with yourself that you're not running because you think if you run far enough the secret will go away you need to face it and accept it as it is what it is is what i'm hearing okay and you also have oh ego look at that breaking the chains um Uh, I'm just hearing Archangel Michael. Somebody's calling on Archangel Michael to free someone from their bondage. There's an illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility 
for the situation and then make choices that support the path to happiness. There might be some addictions or unhealthy habits. So I feel like Virgo, this retrograde is also going to bring that into play where you get released. That's what the, 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 the RE in the retrograde means. There's backing up, going retrograde and releasing yourself but also accepting responsibility for the situation and the choices that you made, right? There's a lot of like, um, let me go back and take a look at this, right? For a lot of people, okay? Now you have the King of Cups is here. The person shows up here. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, or seeing a counselor. So there may be, the. You, the King of Cups is ending the way it started here. So for some of you, this could be um, an air sign, an earth sign, or a water sign, um, or, or a fire sign even. But I feel like it's significant for the King of Cups showing up here. Now that could be your energy too, where you're starting, maybe you're going to see a counselor, getting to some type of self-help or something. Maybe you're already in it. Or this other person is, okay? So these energies are definitely playing out. I'm going to just take... The deepness and seriousness of this reading and i'm gonna give you some rebel deck messages here because sometimes you know i keep hearing remember the movie moonstruck where Cher says snap out of it remember she says that i keep hearing that i don't know if you never saw that movie but i keep hearing that snap out of it so here's a message there's shit going down at your job reevaluate change your perspective or effing quit. Whoa. <laughs> That's the Mercury retrograde. Take a shot. Don't take 12. Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. You also have, oh, F-U-C-K fear. It will lie to your face. Yeah, don't, don't let fear trap you. It will lie to your face. You also have stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit, Virgo. Oh, these are just coming out. Oh, you've got a, a lightning bolt. And that says, figure shit out on your own. Yes, figure it out, Virgo. Figure it out. You're smart. Figure out what you want to do. You want sausage or pepperoni? Like, make a choice. Figure it out. Choose a lane. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. I love this deck. All right, some of you are giving too many Fs. Seriously, you need to give zero. Stop caring so much. It's not that deep, leave it be. It's not in your hands anyway, it's in God's hands, so leave, leave it where it belongs. And you need a big fucking hug, Virgo. Squeeze. Virgo, I'm giving you big virtual hug right now. Whatever you're going through, it can't rain all the time, Virgo. It just can't. I guess in, even in Seattle, it doesn't rain all the time. So try to um, let it go. Let things go. There's happier days ahead. You have the past returns. You got positive vibes. Okay. You got a lot to be grateful and happy for. Yep. Past returns after argument and separation. Okay. So your, your best friend's going to be back. Your, you and your sister are going to talk again. Uh, you and your ex are going to have that conversation, be able to sort things out, heal, either move on, move forward together or move on separately. Um, but everything just kind of all good, right? No bad blood. Okay. Things come to an, to a closure, get closure. Okay. I'm non-committal. So pay attention. Some of you, um, Two people might be like, nah, I'm not committing to this, but I'm willing to talk. I'm not going to commit to anything, but I'm willing to talk about things, but I'm not committing. It's not going to happen. Um, okay, you also have haste, speed, and travel. So this is Cupid's Arrows. Things are going to move really quick. After the 20th, going into September, things are going to move very, very quick. Some of you also might be traveling. Right, and you do have reflect, go into your cave for a while, right? I said this before, it's time to regroup, recollect during this Mercury re retrograde. A lot is going on, you need some alone time. Stay still and quiet, but don't 
just come out when the, re the retrograde is over, right? Just, I'm hearing, just be still. Don't do anything. Don't move. Just be in peace. Stillness. Be in the stillness. Be one with the stillness. Okay? Don't, don't, don't do anything. Don't trigger. Don't be the catalyst. Don't, don't choose a path yet. It's not time. Just be still. Allow the dust to settle. The mud. Allow the muddy water to clear. Allow things to clear. I just want to look up that quote. And was it Lao Tzu? Oh, it says, do you have the patience to wait till your mud settles and the water is clear? Can you remain unmoving till the right action arises by itself? Right? So I just feel like that message there is to just leave things be uh, until, it, until you, you get, you'll know when to do something is what I'm hearing. You will know when to move. So wait, have the patience, wait until that time comes. It's, it, I feel like perhaps in this retrograde, it's not time to do anything. It's to reassess what you want, what path you want to go, because you're definitely going to be at a crossroads. There's a new love start. You might actually, so I'm mostly hearing there is this energy of meeting somebody new, uh, I wouldn't make any major decisions during these retrogrades. I just don't think it's a good time for that. I don't think it's a good time. I think you just want to go with the flow, they're saying, and not um, be non-committal to anything, right? Um, so if you're traveling, if you're taking a vacation, if you're thinking of relocating, um, take everything in stride no major commitments to anything is what i'm hearing during this retrograde because there's some actions and changes and things that are going to happen around the 20th towards when the retrograde goes direct and then you'll know what you need to do that's what i feel like the biggest message is here then you will know what to do all right let's take a look at the chinese sign because you guys love the chinese signs All right, Chinese signs for Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, Year of the Pig, Year of the Horse, Year of the Snake, Year of the Rooster, Year of the Goat, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Tiger, and Year of the Rat. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that if your sign, your zodiac, your Chinese zodiac was called, that's more specifically, this message is for you. If your sign was not called, it doesn't mean it's not your message, okay? Keep that in mind. This could also be the, the sign of your person as well, so keep that in mind as well. All right, let's get into this. Sorry if that's so loud. Okay, you have a Taurus, Cancer, and double Aquarius showing up here. There are significant signs to you. All right, September 3rd, September 21st, um, August 31st, as usual. <laughs> Someone is 39 years of age. Someone is 55. We have 72, 73, 51, 82, 34, 90, 42, 61, January significant time period coming up as well as october so i feel like between the months of october and january there will be something significant that occurs and i'm going to tell you what it is come on let me shuffle these cards what is the significant thing that is going to happen between october 2024 and january 2025 Okay. All right. There's a commitment coming. Mm. All right. So let's see. We have August 27th, September 14th, September 1st. 
September 8th, okay? September 18th. These are your birth dates. There you go. All right, I'm picking up Dennis. Somebody's name is Dennis. Chris, Christopher, Christy, Christine. Okay, Mag, Mags, Mar Margaret, Mag, M Maggie. Okay. Scott, I'm hearing Scott, <laughs> or someone Scottish. Uh, Mark, Marcus, <laughs> Mac, M-A-C, Mac. Could be like first three letters of a last name or somebody's nickname. Um, I'm hearing Sonny, someone's name is Sonny. Gavin, Cammy or Cameron. Um, okay, Dustin, Dustin or Dustin, Moses. Okay, Timothy, Tina. Um, Stephen or Stephanie, um, Nicole, Noel, Dean. I'm getting a lot of names. Michael or Michelle. Oh my God, Aiden. Dylan. I'm hearing Destiny, Aaron, Georgia, or Ginny, maybe Virginia, or Gina. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. San Sandra, Sandy. Okay. That was a lot of names. That was a lot of names. Um, okay, they're also just saying to me someone is in Denmark and Texas. Lives in Texas. And I'm picking up Alaska. There's California, Idaho, Montana. Uh, New Zealand, and I don't know if that's, okay, no, uh, Argentina, I'm hearing Argentina, so this could be places somebody currently lives or is from or, you know, is connected to those, those areas, all right, let's get your charms. Okay, so we got an apple here. Apple a day keeps the whatever away. It's all about the health, right? This apple can represent like New York. Somebody could be in New York or near New York City, Manhattan, New York, big apple. That's a big apple. Um, red juicy apple. Yep, so maybe you're eating an apple right now or some kind of burning an apple scented candle. Oh my gosh, with the falls coming here, pumpkins, apple cider, all the good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody wears religious jewelry. Yes. Or has some, some connection to stained glass jewelry. There's a connection to stained glass jewelry. Big connection to or stained glass artifacts or, or things. What's this? Oh, there's this is a swan. Beautiful. Oh, some of you. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, there's a transformation and change in physical appearance that's going to be really profound towards the end of this month, the end of August. Very profound. I don't know if it's going to be in a positive way or a negative way, but I'm pretty sure it's in a positive way because the swan, you know the story of the swan. 
yeah very uh, beautiful something very beautiful about swans and also a star somebody's getting a star uh, lined star tattoo or has one that's the first thing that just came to me right it's not filled in it's just the line there's some connection to a star all right virgo 53 minutes i think that's good or 50 minutes i'm going to leave that there hope you enjoy that don't forget your personal readings don't forget if you want to um get any of those i'm running a special two dollars for the timeless readings there and um if you want to become a member of my channel you get really cool emojis um i'm gonna post actually if you guys could email me um i want to know before i close out here just give me a second please listen um, I'm going to add some perks to the memberships. So um, if you guys send me an email, House of Virgo Gmail, it's on, in the description box underneath this video. If you have any ideas, shoot me an email of what kind of perks or what kind of things you would um, like to receive for a membership if you're paying for a membership. Right now it's just cool emojis and badges, um, but that membership is only $2.99. I will add another tier. So if there's anything that you would really like as a subscriber of my channel that you would be like, yeah, that's worth the money. I'm gonna get this if I join. Let me know what your ideas are, okay? Um, yeah, so definitely send me an email in regards to that. Uh, real quick, I just want to see, are there any, so we have shout out to Lori, Christopher Wynn, Amelia Joel Baba for becoming a member, Joanne Carballo, 9558 Hello Mimi, she joined five days ago, Ceci, welcome to the House of Virgo membership. Yeah, please do send me an email and let me know what your ideas are and I will consider any ideas. And if I choose one of your ideas, I'll give you a shout out here on the channel. All right, you guys. So have a great night. I'll be back here tomorrow with your weekend reading and I will see you all later. Shut up.